the European Roller. European Roller, this typical blue, jackdaw-sized bird of the Great Hungarian Plain, is known almost everywhere around the farmsteads. Their distribution range stretches from Western Europe through North Africa to Central Asia. 50 to 70 percent of the species population lives in Europe. By now, they had disappeared from significant areas of Northern and Western Europe. By the millennium, their populations have experienced further declines in the remaining European distribution area. Therefore, the European roller is listed as near threatened nowadays. Without taking specific conservation actions, their population decline is expected to continue and the species may become vulnerable. After local conservation activities of former years, the project titled Conservation of the European Roller in the Carpathian Basin has officially started in September 2014. In the frame of the project, Hungarian and Romanian conservation specialists work together for strengthen the rural population in the Carpathian Basin. The work is supported by the Life Plus Fund of the European Union. For the implementation of the project, a consortium has been established and led by the Hungarian Ornithological and Nature Conservation Society, also known as BirdLife Hungary. Associated partners are Bük National Park Directorate, Kiskunság National Park Directorate and Délalföldi Forestry Close Corporation LTD in Hungary and Milbus Group Association with the Environmental Protection Agency of Sato Mare County in Romania. Rollers are breeding in steppe land habitats of Europe and Asia. Their distribution area is shrinking. European roller is the only member among the 12 species of roller family to breed in Europe. They are birds of warmer regions. In the past 100 years, they have disappeared as breeding species from almost the whole area of Germany, Denmark and Switzerland. Furthermore, their breeding range in Hungary contracted to the Great Plain and the southern part of Mezőföld. Recently, a few pairs returned to the region of Transdanubia and the trend shows an upward tendency. European roller is a migratory species. Similarly to common swift and the European bee eater, they spend a minimum time in Europe. The birds return from the African wintering grounds to the Carpathian Basin in the end of April and leave in loose flocks in late August and September. The Eastern European population is wintering on the woody savannas in southwest Africa. Migration route and wintering grounds of the Carpathian Basin's roller population have been almost completely unknown. Traditional bird ringing activities provided only few recaptured data in the last century. Therefore, information about the threatening factors the birds are facing while migration and wintering were also insufficient before the project. With the support of the live project, professionals started to reveal the migration pattern of the Hungarian birds as well. Considering the decline experienced in the neighboring countries, the strictly protected Hungarian population that has been successfully stabilized in the past decades is more and more appreciated. The assessment of the population and the existing breeding sites in the Carpathian Basin has been a priority of the project, which was launched in 2014 by Hungarian and Romanian partners. As part of the initiative, rollers have been tagged with geolocators and satellite tags for the first time in Hungary, which provided detailed information about the migration routes and wintering ground of the birds for the specialists. In the frame of the project, four PPT transmitters have been deployed on rollers during the breeding period in the summer of 2015. They can only be tagged in the incubation period.
Furthermore, the size of the breeding territories can be estimated as well. The interactive map of the tagged individuals is available for the public. The birds' movement can be followed on satellitetracking.eu website operated by BirdLife Hungary. Recently, we've had two individuals to follow in their migration on the Internet. This type of transmitter is regularly sending data about the position of the birds in their migration while communicating with the Argus satellite system. The summer movements of Peter and Cele, the two tagged birds route, can be viewed here. They both started their migration on the 6th of September and reached Bulgaria the same day with a 600 km jump and crossed the Mediterranean Sea in the next two days. One of them flew in the direction of Greece, the other headed Turkey. It took an additional two days for them to arrive to the Sahel region, precisely to Chad. They required approximately 10 days for leaving the area of the rainforest region and to reach their first presumed wintering sites, Angola and Zambia. Later, they moved further south to the two neighboring countries, Namibia and Botswana. Consequently, we can identify the wintering area of the European rollers from the Carpathian Basin in Namibia and northern Botswana. És úgy tűnik, hogy ezzel kijelenthetjük, hogy nagyjából tudjuk, hogy hol van a, a Kárpát-medencei szalakótáknak a telelő területe, tehát Namíbia, illetve Bocvánának az északi részében. The aim of Life Plus program is to multiplicate the number of nests of the roller in tree holes, cavities of shore segments and rains. One of the causes of the decline of the species is the loss of breeding sites in all trees. Today, the majority of rollers in the Carpathian Basin nest in artificial nests, so the part of the program is to place more artificial nests and plant native trees. As modern agriculture expanded in the last decades, the natural nesting habitats with open grasslands varied with tree lines and old lonely trees declined. And the European roller, which prefers old tree holes, was left without his home on bigger areas. Most of the Hungarian population breeds in natural cavities made by green woodpecker or black woodpecker or in artificial nest boxes. Obviously, natural nesting conditions have been the heretofore determinative factors. Primarily green woodpecker and black woodpecker create holes that are suitable in size for rollers. They do not build nests for themselves or collect nest materials, they even remove former nest remains from the cavity. Rollers avoid areas with continuous forest coverage. Their typical breeding habitats are open grasslands varied with tree lines and forest patches or the Pannonic inland sand dune thickets in Kiskunság. Breeding attempts have rarely been observed in different conditions, for example, whole of sandy banks or loess walls. Spacious, open plan landscape, lowland varied with tree lines and forest patches where flatlands are covered with fence, sedge meadows or impressive sodic lakes. Land use here is implemented in the traditional way. Farmers of the area still live in separated or in neighboring farmsteads. Their natural environment is grazed and formed by many livestock, which shape the area into natural habitats with short vegetation and rich insect fauna. This is Bakshi Plain, where the first artificial nest box network of Chongrad County have supported the remaining roller population that suffered the lack of suitable breeding sites decades ago. European roller is our colorful, strictly protected bird species, inhabitant of old trees in tree lines of the alkali grassland edge. 
clear cut of tree lines and removal of old trees led to the loss of nesting habitats, while regression of grazing and degradation of grasslands resulted in the deterioration of feeding habitats. To counteract the threats, a species and habitat conservation project has been established. Let's see which species share their home on southern Great Plain the rollers with. Other typical stepland species can also be found in their habitat or the neighborhood, for example, the Montagu's harrier gliding gloriously about the ground. Their chicks are hiding in the tall grass of the meadow. Short, grazed pastures provide home to strictly protected stone curlew, unmistakable by its large yellow eyes. The folk name all headed plover originates both from the nocturnal activity and the appearance of this declining lowland species. His closest neighbor is most probably the lesser grey shrike who uses the same tree line. His offsprings are raised in the nest built in the side of the tree line. Red-footed falcons arrive to the black locust groups from a comparably remote interlink site. Their loose colony occupies the nests of rookeries. Typical nesting species of sodic lakes also find home here. Black-winged stilt build nests in the shallow sodic water bodies or use the barren islands as breeding place. Pied avocets are also a refreshing phenomenon in the bird life of the lakes. Their unusual upward turned beak is an excellent tool of feeding by sweeping its side to side. They all, together with many other creatures, are part of the vibrant life of the sometimes dry, sometimes wet Akali grassland. Their existence depends on the sensitive balance controlled by the constant changes in the landscape. Nowadays also on the land use decision of man. Rollers are early migrants. They are leaving before the formation of enormous bird flocks in autumn. They only can witness the late summer gathering, since their hasty leaving does not support great encounters. Although European rollers, including rollers breeding in Hungary, represent the nominate subspecies that populates further European steppe regions as well, our rollers respect the specifics of Hungarian Great Plain. It's heartwarming to watch these colorful birds living their days around our farmsteads and to observe them return to breed here again after their wintering in South Africa. Let's see how their scant five months pass here. After arriving to the breeding sites, our rollers start their display combined with twists and turns. Males often fight for the chosen cavities since the number of suitable holes is limited. The period of courtship suddenly ends with mating. The copulation takes place on a tree's branch next to the selected breeding site. Rollers lay their eggs every other day from the end of May and the pair starts to incubate. 
The clutches consists of four, five eggs on average. Both parents take long shifts sitting on the eggs, so the one leaving the nest can feed. The first egg starts to crack on the 18th day after lead and the chicks start to hatch. One of the adults protects and warms up the naked chicks for an extra week and then they start to feed them more intensively. They are perching on branches or wires whilst watching the surface where they are hunting on insects or other prey. Rollers predominantly feed their chicks with grasshoppers and beetles, but often bring them small reptiles and rodents too. The chicks develop quickly. Their feathers start to open from the shaft in the second week and the chicks develop their plumage until the fourth week of their life. By this time, the landscape turns yellow, mowing and grazing on grasslands are in progress and wheat is harvested. Fledged rollers feed on the surrounding habitats for about a month and learn about the wider environment of the former home. By the time grasslands get covered by sea lavender, our rollers suddenly disappear from the landscape. They start migration in the beginning of September when they take off at night to avoid raptors. By three lines turn yellow, our rollers have left the country. Burning the insect-based fuel collected in the Hungarian plains, they are gliding above the African continent already. We only can hope that this beautiful bluebird of grasslands return next year to the neighborhood of farmsteads where starlings are fledging their first grown-up nestlings by then.
We are in the area of Ágos Egyháza at the Kiskunság National Park on the meadows of Orgovány. Right now we are replacing the old, worn out, broken or dangerous nest boxes in the frame of the life project for the conservation of European roller. The project allowed us to order Schwegler nest boxes from Germany, 1000 pieces for the Kiskunság National Park to be exact. The German manufacturer gives 25 years warranty to these new types of nest boxes and they are more favorable for the nesting birds regarding thermal insulation as well. We are replacing the old ones with these and shortly these nest boxes will contribute to the breeding success of the soon returning rollers in the whole Kiskunság National Park area. The manufacturer produces barn nest boxes too. As the name indicates, those are installed on the walls of the barn. They are somewhat bigger, but differently shaped boxes than the traditional so-called D-type nest boxes. They are occupied by rollers as well. The only difference is that they are installed on the barn's wall in spite of trees or poles. We are placing them on active barns where animal husbandry still takes place. Livestock attracts insects, therefore this is a great opportunity for our birds. Two national park directorates are involved in the program, Kiskunság and Bük. Their rangers got the task to implement the project actions. Besides, that data collection is continuous by the volunteers of BirdLife Hungary as well. All the data are collected, stored and evaluated by LiveBird Hungary. Kiskunság National Park is one of the associated beneficiaries of the LIVE project. Among many tasks, we are monitoring the habitats, the nest boxes and the territories of the birds. We have colleagues with ringing permits at the National Park and they help us at the annual ringing too. Uh, Kiskunság National Park is one of the associated beneficiaries of the LIVE project. Among many tasks, we are monitoring the habitats, the nest boxes and the territories of the birds. We have colleagues with ringing permits at the National Park and they help us at the annual ringing too. Uh, it's a really great honor for me that uh, I can welcome you uh, here in Hungary on behalf of MMA BirdLife Hungary. The LIVE project, titled Conservation of the European Roller in the Carpathian Basin, has been prepared and led by BirdLife Hungary and gave the opportunity to hold an international three days conference in Kecskemét, Hungary, in January of 2017. Altogether, 80 professionals arrived from 27 countries to exchange knowledge and experiences and to discuss and update the international action plan of the species and further possibilities. Long-term migrant species like our magnificent bluebird, Roller, face many threats along their route. Therefore, protecting them on their breeding sites is not sufficient International cooperation is required to conserve the optimal conditions of migration routes and wintering sites as well. This species has a wide distribution area. It means we can find individuals both on the rocky seashores of Spain or Portugal, on the Mediterranean semi-deserts of the Iberian Peninsula or the Pannonic inland sand dune thickets and grasslands of the Carpathian Basin. Consequently, the species prefers a wide variety of habitats. Unfortunately, their reactions are similar everywhere. Their populations decline. Basically, a slow but steady decline can be observed, the causes of which are very complicated. Since the species is a relatively big-sized bird that nests in three holes, the numbers of suitable cavities is limited. Therefore, the most important conservation action in Europe is to attract rollers to the habitats with the provision of idly sized artificial nest boxes with appropriate hole diameters. We invited roller specialists from all over Europe who are familiar with this subject and could contribute to the work. 
On the conference's three days, we plan to discuss and summarize the status of the European roller in the continent, the most important threats birds face, and to elaborate action plans that will be included in a final action plan we prepare until 2018. We hope that the European Commission will approve and adopt this new revised action plan to all the other species action plans. It has been an important principle to invite specialists who represent not only the countries of the European breeding sites of the roller, but areas on the migration route like Cyprus and Israel and the wintering grounds such as South Africa as well. Rollers spend altogether not more than four months in Europe. Most of their time is dedicated to the spring and autumn migration and the wintering in Africa. During their annual travel that can cover tens of thousands of kilometers, rollers are exposed to many dangers – illegal hunting, habitat degradation on the stopover and wintering sites. Migratory bird hunting has a long tradition in the Mediterranean and has cultural as well as gastronomic aspects. Formerly, bird species that cross the country in the spring and autumn migration served as food source for the local people. However, the population of human grows significantly in the past 200 years. Modern tools of hunting and catching birds have been refined. Different types of traps, nets and sound systems have been developed, for example. These killing cause the mortality of millions of individuals of migratory bird species, which is hardly tolerated by some species. Experts agreed on the identified reasons of the population decrease. The degradation of suitable nesting and feeding sites, electrocution caused by poorly isolated electric wires and the negative effects suffered while migrating and wintering. We revised the history of the roller populations in every country to see what has happened in the past 10 years. We identify and categorize the threats, set the priorities and revise the suggested measures in the original species action plan. After we revise and update the plan, we prepare a new life project which serves the conservation of the birds from 2020. Since Roller is a long-term migrant spending winter south of Sahara, conservation actions should be implemented not only in their breeding sites. International cooperation is crucial to protect the condition of wintering sites and migration routes also. Active conservation actions are necessary to cease population declines and help the expansion of the species. A good example is the installation of artificial D-type nest boxes that are preferred by rollers for breeding. The purpose of the Life Plus program is to support and facilitate nature conservation and species protection efforts alike. The work undertaken is in the final stage. In the frame of the conservation project, breeding sites have been established, natural habitats have been restored by the partners in Hungary and Romania, electric pylons have been insulated, and a network with conservation trainings for volunteer farmers has been founded. Forty rollers have been tagged to obtain information about their migration. The Rural Visitor Center erected in the neighborhood of Lake Fehér of Szeged awaits visitors with a conference room, guest rooms, a watchtower and an educational tray. Involvement of local communities has been highlighted in the program, therefore we plan to demonstrate agricultural management practices that are beneficial not only for roller, but the farmers too. To achieve this goal, we put emphasis in the further mentioned activities also. We established the Farmers for Roller program to promote bird-friendly management techniques and provided native tree saplings for farmers to support future breeding opportunities for roller. Beyond that, we organized further dissemination activities for the wider audience as well. 
With the contribution of Film Jungle Studio, a nest camera system has been installed into a roller nest box in the area of Kiskunság National Park, near the municipality of Sándorfalva, in May of 2016. People could follow the life of the breeding pair for the whole breeding season. Habitat reconstruction has also been performed next to Lake Fehér. The aim was to eliminate the old, unused dam system of the neighboring fish pond network. Thereby, the environment blends more naturally into the landscape of the plains. The completed Roller Visitor Center has been constructed for demonstration activities. The offered programs display the works and results of roller conservation. The most important indicator of the project's success will be measured by the growing number of breeding rollers in the project area and the surrounding locations. This has been supported by the installed 2,800 artificial nest boxes. To uphold the project achievements in the long term, the cooperation between farmers, conservationists and electric companies has to be maintained. This is the only way we can ensure future generations also have the opportunity to admire the beauty of the bluebird on the Hungarian plains. Yeah.